What is up, Autocons and Deceptibots? Deceptibot9 here. Welcome back to another Transformers review. Today, I'm super excited to dive into this figure. At this point that I'm recording this video, Hasbro PulseCon has not happened yet, but by the time this is being uploaded, it most definitely has. And right now, I've been seeing lots of leaks and rumors about the Titan class figure for 2022. Uh, and I'm gonna, I go into detail a little bit in my previous review, which was uh, Generation Select Siege Hotshot, about why Transformers Cybertron, the show, means so much to me. Our worlds are in danger. And why uh, modern versions of these characters are super, super awesome to me and nostalgic for me. Cybertron is my G1, and that brings me to today's figure. Optimus Prime! Transformers Siege Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. Like a year and a half ago or so, when I first started doing uh, some videos on the regular, well, it was less regular than I'm doing them now, but I made a video that was my top five Siege figures, and I believe Optimus Prime was up at number one. He was really high up. Um, so if you watched that original video, first of all, thank you for still sticking around for that long, but also you know how much I adore this guy. Now overall, I really like the War for Cybertron Ultra Magnus mold, and when they first released that figure, I didn't expect them to make this guy out of that mold. But I should have seen a hint coming when I saw these guns attached to Ultra Magnus. I thought it was just an extra little weird accessory, but when you look at the way this gun is designed next to the original Cybertron Optimus Prime gun cannons, right there, you can tell that these are meant to be that. So I should have seen that as a sign. And overall, this figure is absolutely incredible, especially for a guy like me. This is my Optimus Prime. My very first Optimus Prime, this guy, right? Well, not this version, but this, this version of the character, this design overall is my Optimus Prime. I wouldn't have it any other way. I love this Optimus Prime and the fact that we got a modern update of this design and of this character is so, so awesome. Now, Obviously, my biggest problem with this figure is that the inner cab robot is not accurate to Transformers Cybertron. He is accurate to the 2019 IDW Comics relaunch version of Optimus Prime, and it is a nice looking inner robot, and we're going to get to that in a second. But overall, I mean, look at this, look at this mode, look at, we'll look, take a look at the vehicle mode, and they're absolutely perfection. I honestly probably should have started with the inner cab robot, but we're starting off with the galaxy upgrade part. And look at this guy. This guy looks absolutely incredible. This head sculpt is phenomenal. I love the way the windows look. The shoulder pads right here are incredible. Arms look great. Everything down to the legs looks fantastic. These extra guns. And on top, just like the original figure, this pistol does come out. So you can have these two big cannons, but it also plugs into that big cannon as well. And also just like the original figure and the original show, these big cannons do of course flip around and he can hold them in his hands so that he can blast blast. Wow. Anyway, I started blasting. Bah, wow. bah. Yes, and he looks absolutely phenomenal in any pose you're gonna put this guy in. Flip these cans back. All right, very quickly before we take a look at the inner cab itself and we get into the transformation and all that, let's take a look at articulation here in Galaxy Upgrade mode. We are looking at a ball joint on the head, gets in a lot of range of motion. We get swivels on the arms, but due to the wings, they are only able to go a certain amount of direction. They can go out that far, they swivel at the bicep, elbow bend, there is a wrist swivel as well on both wrists. We get a waist swivel, legs can also go 
forward and backward and in and out, swivel at the thigh, bend at the knee, and ankle tilt, which is common on all War for Cybertron figures. All right, we are going to take this guy down into the cab mode. Right, and here he is in his inner robot mode, and I'm gonna lay in a clip of putting on all the armor to this version just so that has a place to go in the video. It'll kind of feel a little bit backwards as I, you know, as I say, we're gonna go from upgrade to little cab, but you're gonna see a clip of him upgrading. But I wanna include that in here somewhere, and this cab, or this little, little prime mode, I mean, he's not entirely accurate to how the inner mode of, or the regular mode of how Optimus Prime looked on Transformer Cybertron, but you can kind of see the essence there. And I think overall, this guy just looks awesome. He looks so, so great. I think this inner head sculpt is absolutely fantastic. I wish if anything, they had made this head sculpt not have the mouth plate and look so it could evoke that inner Optimus Prime or the not upgraded Optimus Prime a little bit more, but I still think this head sculpt is an absolutely perfect Optimus Prime head sculpt overall. Of course, you get the front of the truck here on uh, for the chest, which is why it's an accurate because that turned out to be the shoulders. And you can still put those shoulder pieces on top of the shoulders here to evoke that look a little bit more, but then it looks a little weird because you've got, you know, this right here and right there at the same time. But anyway, yes, as for cab mode overall, if you have Ultra Magnus, this is really where the figure is mostly the same. Um, they haven't made many changes to this actual part of the figure. Um, the only part being the back because they take part of the back uh, or part of the bumper is part of the, the Galaxy upgrade robot mode, whereas Ultra Magnus, this is always just one big piece. That's really the biggest change besides obviously this remold right here. That is the biggest change from the Ultra Magnus mold here in the cab mode. And in terms of articulation, we're looking at pretty much exactly the same head sculpt is on a ball joint arms. Can go all the way around this time because there's no wings there to block them in and out. Swivel, elbow, wrist, twist, forward, back, in and out, all that fun stuff. And he has ankle tilt. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into trance formation on Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime, transform! Now, for the most part, when we're looking at transformation for Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime, it is mostly similar to Ultra Magnus. The cab mode is basically identical to Ultra Magnus. It is where the little 
the upgrade pieces are concerned as to where the differences lie as we are going to see here when I get to that part. Quick pause from the transformation right here is we're just gonna take a quick look at the cab mode and that's great. That's, it's, I love this. I love seeing this because this is my childhood right here but in a modern toy adaptation. It looks great. It looks better than the Ultra Magnus white inner cab having the hands and the feet stick out. It just reminds me a lot more of 2006. I don't know why. I really, really like this. Let's get to the rest of the transformation. All right, so talking about the transformation here, this part really is just adding all of the upgrade piece elements together. It's a little more segmented than Ultra Magnus's was, but overall, this is a super fun transformation, and it, it does evoke the original in, in many aspects, like the way the wings fold out and having to tab the, the leg pieces like we're seeing right here into the rest of the piece. Um, even though they're not in the middle uh, like they used to be, they are still getting attached in somewhere. And of course, clipping it in is a little more modern, a little more upgraded nowadays, but still comes together in a super fantastic way and it's super satisfying when it clicks all together and you end up in his truck mode which we're going to talk about here in a second because this truck mode absolutely beautiful and i love this thing so 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 much all right and after the transformation is all complete we have galaxy upgrade optimus prime in his fire truck vehicle mode and oh my gosh, I love transforming this guy so, so much. And I just love, 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 love looking at this. I love having this on my shelf. This figure came out in 2019. This is, this is my Optimus Prime. And I, I, really, I, I really want people that complain when figures like this get released and announced and you know, I've seen it a lot about the Titan class, the upcoming Titan class figure. I'm trying not to spoil it for people who don't want to be spoiled by it, but it's the Titan class figure for 2022 for Transformers Legacy is Cybertron Metroplex. And there's a lot of people just, just, just crapping on it because it's not the Metroplex they want because it's not G1 Metroplex. But I want them to realize that when they get Earthrise Optimus Prime, and they get the way he looks in truck mode and robot mode, and they say, yeah, this is my Optimus Prime, this is the best version, blah, blah, blah. I want them to know that that's how I feel about this. This might not be a perfect figure. Obviously, in the truck mode, there is some issues like you can see in here, you can see his head, what, whatever, whatever. The original figure had those issues. The best thing about this is that this exists. This gives me so, so, so much joy just to look at, just to hold, and to transform. Because like I was talking about in the Hotshot video, this is one of those figures that takes it, takes the original and it adds a flair of modern to it while still feeling like the original. And overall, just looking at this Optimus Prime and being able to say that this is a updated figure of my original Optimus Prime that I was introduced to as a kid, the first Optimus Prime that I fell in love with. The fact that we got a modern version of this is so rare and it makes me so happy. It's so incredible. And I love that Metroplex is getting representations too. Sure, I don't like that the rumored price point is $190. That's a lot to fork out. But I don't want Metroplex to fail because if Metroplex fails in Hasbro's eyes, that's going to mean less and less of these figures are produced. And I really hope the sales of Kingdom show that people want more than just G1. And I really hope we get to start seeing some, some more Unicron Trilogy figures that get their own dedicated molds. I would love for more figures to be getting their own dedicated molds. Like Armada Starscream from Thrilling 30 was its own dedicated mold and it was things were repainted from that. Whereas all the figures we've gotten lately um, for Unicron Trilogy mostly are just 
repaint that seem easy to take, right? Or retools in this case. Um, there was Armada Megatron, who was just a super easy repaint of Combiner Wars Megatron. Hot shot. This one obviously required more retooling than those other figures. I'm glad we're getting Armada and Cybertron representation no matter what. And I'm glad we're going to be getting more in Legacy because I think kids uh, like me, who are now 23 years old and have our own money to be spending, we're ready to get hooked by that nostalgia thing just as much as everybody else is. Um, I don't want to be left out anymore in terms of the nostalgia thing. I love every character, all these other characters that we're getting as much as the next person. Maybe I maybe I don't love them as much as the next person. I love that we got Beast Wars in Kingdom. I love that it started expanding out of that. And I'm a sucker. I still bought Earthrise figures. I still bought the G1 characters because they're they're good designs, they're good figures, and they're and they're good characters overall. I'm just saying we need a little bit more of this for people like me because this is absolutely phenomenal i love this so so much it is my favorite version of this mold i have all the other ones i have regular siege magnus i have netflix siege magnus i have kingdom magnus and i have galaxy upgrade prime this one is easily my favorite out of all of them i love this so 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 much i transform and roll out all right, there you guys have it. That is my review for Transformers Siege Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below what did you think about this figure overall? Do you have it? Are you a fan? Are you around my age? Is this your Optimus Prime just as much as it's mine? All those things, let me know in the comments down below. Let's talk about Hasbro PulseCon. Uh, when Hasbro PulseCon rolls around, I do want to do a video about the reveals. Maybe I'll rank um, the, the Transformers reveals uh, by excitement. Um, hopefully we get to see Legacy, the, the next toy line Legacy going out there. Obviously by the time this has come out, Hasbro Pulse Con has happened. If I'm doing a ranking video, I've done it already, and it would probably be out so I can catch on that hype. That's all I've got for you guys today. I don't think our worlds are in danger anymore after this review is done. Thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you all next.